welcome everybody. We are going to go over what will be on the final exam for object-oriented programming in Objective-C, uh, SEN 970. Brand new exam. Actually, it's a brand new course, too. Uh, so, brand new course, brand new exam. So, let's see. I have the exam in front of me, actually. I'm holding on to it right now. And uh, it is worth uh, 25 points. So, here, I'll put that on here. Worth 25 points. So I'm writing up the review sheet while I'm talking to you so I can make sure this is extremely accurate. So how many questions are there? There are there are 25 questions. 25 points. Uh, 25 questions. One point per question. One point per question. Okay. And you know the exam's on Monday, the 27th. So how many we have here? Let me count real quick how many uh, multiple choices we have. We have one, two, three. Well, the first page is all multiple choice. That's eight questions. Nine questions. 10, 11, 12, 13 questions. 14, 15 questions. So 15 questions are multiple choice. Uh, so 15 questions are multiple choice. And, well, that makes 15 minus 25, or 10 questions, <laughs> 10 questions uh, are short answer. So let me make sure that there's 10 in here. Make sure I have it counted correctly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10. Yes, 10 questions. All right, so let's see. Huh? Short answer means I'm going to have you write a little bit of source code. But I'm going to tell you what you're going to write. Well, I'm going to tell you a hint at what you're going to write. You're going to figure out what you're supposed to write. So, so those people who are listening to this or are here, who are here today have the benefit of knowing this. I could not do it all multiple choice. It came out too easy that way. So I have to make it a little bit more challenging. So 10 questions are of writing a little bit of code. You're not writing a complete program, however. You're just writing um, code snippets. Um, so I'll tell you in a few minutes here. So let's see. Question number one looks at the concept of categories. So know the concept of cat categories, category, and uh, what was that other thing? Protocols. Protocols. Uh, we have one, two, about three questions on that concept. So know how they are implemented and what they are in concept. What does it provide the class and why is it and why are they used? And why are they used? It's not gonna be none of the short answer questions by the way are definitions. It's not like define protocol or something like that. Instead uh, I'll show you. In fact I'll even read off some of the questions for you so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so let's see, protocols and, and uh, categories. Um, you want to know something about the, um, the background of Objective-C. So be familiar. Remember that lecture I gave you guys on uh, NS. NS, NS Next Step, and it was about Objective-C and how it was related to Smalltalk and C and all those other kind of... So know a little bit about the history. There's a couple questions on the history. And, uh, and on the concept of Objective-C and where it was derived from and how it came about. So be familiar with the concept, uh, see, be familiar with the history of Objective-C and uh, NS, next step, and, uh, and what dialects of other languages uh, influenced languages. Uh, why is that underlined? Let's see. Not quite sure why that's underlined. Of other languages influenced Objective C. For example, small talk and C. And uh, feel free to ask me some questions as I go through this. I'm assuming you know what I'm talking about when I say things. So. All right. So let's see. There are a couple questions on that. Uh, one, two, three. About three questions or so. I'm only on the first page so far. Uh, let's see. 
Also, the concepts of dynamic typing, dynamic binding, uh, and the ID. So, know the concepts of ID, dynamic typing, uh, dynamic binding, um, and the running nature of objective. Let's see, let's go to the run time. Let's call it the running, the run time. So we know everything's late, everything's delayed until run time. Everything in the language is it's a purely dynamic language. Nothing is statically bound. Nothing is statically anything. Um, so all variables, including um, variables of object types and other types, are all bound to them to their reference types um, at runtime or during uh, the dynamic behavior. So the concept of ID, meaning the generic object, there's an entire lecture that I did on ID as a concept. So be familiar with ID, what it is. Um, so if, I'll make it even a separate, I'll make it a separate line here. Be familiar with when and why and when and why you would want to use ID. I'll even put it in lowercase here because that's how it really is supposed to be. Any questions on ID or any questions on uh, that topic area? Okay. All right. Um, know how to make a class. Okay. Know how to make a class in Objective-C. I believe one of those questions that uh, I told you was fill in the blank, let me just make sure, is going to ask you to try a class uh, that meets some sort of a description. Yes, it says declare a class blah, 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 blah in Objective-C and include blah, 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 blah in your class. Write both the dot .h and the dot .m. So be familiar with what goes in a dot .h and what goes in a dot .n file. So know how to, uh, I'm going to put it here right, know how to write a class in Objective-C and um, what goes into each file, the .h and the .m file. So it's a very, fairly easy one. Um, know how to, uh, uh, put it in here, know how to declare variables and data members, well variables are data members or data members of the class and also how to declare messages or um, methods, messages comma methods or uh, functions inside of the class. Because um, you'll have to do that on the question I will ask you to create a class, where you'll have to do the, both the .h and the .m file. If you came in a little late, I'm going over the final exam. And the final exam consists of 25 questions, uh, one point each. 15 of the questions are multiple choice, and 15, 10 of the questions are short answer. The short answer ones are obviously harder, but they're still worth the one point, which means if you're really good at the multiple choice, you can make up for it. But in order to get those extra 10 points, you're going to have to write a little bit of code, but not too much code. You know what I mean? So it'll be, it'll be a little bit of code. So and in order to get 100% of this exam, you're going to need to answer those 10 questions, basically. But you're not going to, not going to necessarily uh, have a good time with that multiple choice either, not to say that the multiple choice is as easy or easier than the fill in the blank. Some people actually might find that the short answer are actually easier than the uh, multiple choice, but it, it depends on what your style of uh, learning is. It's harder to cheat when it's a short answer. So, All right, so let's see. Um, oh, know the meaning of the symbols. Okay, so know the meaning of the symbols in the language such as, and here we have the symbols, the at symbol, the plus symbol, the minus symbol, Um, I'll put here for example. For example, 
and oops, I'll put it here, and what they are used for and why. <laughs> Definitely questions on that that will overlap with both the writing part of it and also of the multiple choice part of it. You can't get through an Objective-C class without knowing what those symbols are anyway. It's just, it's just a given. And does this for, them, for the benefit of people who have actually taken this course, you know, showing up, participating, doing the assignments themselves. So. All right. So that was on page one. <laughs> page two. <laughs> There's only four pages. Don't worry. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, so we have um, a couple questions on the concepts related to object orientation. Um, in terms of uh, public, private, and protected. So, no, the concepts related to public, private, and protected. Um, class properties. Oh, I forgot about properties. Um, actually, it's coming up. <laughs> so let's see. Um, class properties and component. How about let's just say class components. Class components. Uh, these are considered the protection and access uh, met, uh, modifiers. Or, do you want to move that into the back to make it less distracting for you? The, sh the sheets there? Should we move them back further? I don't know. I'm just like, it would be kind of distracting for some. Okay. Um, so, so these are considered the protection and access modifiers <laughs> for um, getting at data and class functionality. Okay. Um, we want to know about the property and synthesize. So, know the concepts, concept of using at property and at synthesize. Oops, synthesize. Did I say that right? Synthesize? Hmm, close enough. You know what I mean, I hope. Um, when and where they are they are used and why. It's actually kind of a straightforward exam. It's not really too bad. Okay. So let's see. <sighs> know how to allocate memory for an object and how to initialize it. <laughs> Allocking it? Yeah. You'll have to write it. Did you get that? You have to write it. You showed me a line of it today, actually. Yeah. Okay. Hint, hint. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Know how to make instances of your classes in main. You'll have to write it. Know how to create instances of your objects and run methods on them in Objective-C, not using C syntax. Remember the dot notation versus the other notation that we're familiar with now? You'll have to write the other notation. <laughs> Just to see if you remember or you know what the other notation actually is. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Allocating and initializing. Uh, running methods on classes. Know how to use parameters with methods, both in creating the method call, creating the method um, implementation, 
and also in running the methods with parameters. <laughs> oh, that's page two. <laughs> like, oh, what could be next? Yes? There are 10 questions that are short answer and 15 questions. Oh, all of them together. Yeah. The what questions that are short answer are ones that are going to ask you to write code snippets. As an example, you'll have to write the code to initialize an object and to allocate it. And you'll have to write the code to run a method on an object using, C, using Objective-C. Yeah. And you'll have to write something with property and synthesize, or you'll have to write, you will definitely have to write a class implementation with a .h and a .m file. Ah, know the .h, .m. Know the .h and the dot m implementations of classes or, or objects actually objects it's actually of classes <sighs> yeah I, I put it up here but I think I put it up here you have to write it there's a couple odd questions there's one I think multiple choice oh I didn't put it in here did I yeah I put it in here and what goes into each one of them so yeah, I guess it, let's repeat. You're right. Let me take that out of there. So there's a there's a multiple choice on that as well that I was looking at. Um, okay. Um, ah, know the difference. There's questions that are multiple choice that are getting at. Do you know what a class method versus an instance method is? How do I, how do I write that? No, the know how to identify and use class versus instance methods. Yeah. Yeah. But where the, are they located in the code kind of thing? And you remember that last lecture we did? When I put it outside and I, I we did uh, something and you guys were discussing, it was from the assignment actually, you guys were discussing how do you make something a class method kind of thing. There's a multiple choice question that's asking something very similar on that concept that we, it, you'll answer it correctly, but because you know, if, if you remember that lecture, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll be able to identify that. Others might want to be able to identify it too. Uh, let's see, number 13. Oh! Um, no auto release. No, the concepts, concepts of memory and auto release and memory pools. Um, also be familiar with the concept of reference counting and what it does and what it's doing. There's a multiple choice question on that actually. Reference counting, um, auto release um, let's see, actually there's three of them on there. So page number three is all about memory, actually, now I'm looking at it. Um, so we're looking at, uh, uh, be familiar with general memory concepts as they apply to the Objective-C language. There are both some theory as well as, uh, writing questions on that topic. You know how to create an auto-release pool. You won't have to do anything the old way. Maybe I'll put that in here. You don't. <laughs> you don't have to use retain, release. Um, you don't have to, or there's no drain on it either. So uh, you don't have to be familiar with the old way of doing memory without ARC on Mac reference counting. Without the ARC.
feature. I'm not going to require that you know everything related to memory, especially stuff you didn't really use in the course if you used automatic reference counting. Then you wouldn't have had any exposure to it. So that was page three. It's all about memory. Last but not least, I got page four. <laughs> well, page four is the one that has you write the class on it. And you have half a page of room on it to write the class. So it's got, you got lots of room on this one here. Uh, what else is on this page? <sighs> Setters and getter concepts. Uh, be familiar with the set. I'm just going to here go setter and getter concepts of um, data members. And how to run a set or get method. Set or get method call that is created for you automatically. <laughs> you know, with the property and the synthesis. <laughs> Um, but you know you can create those yourself as well. You know you don't have to use the property synthesize. You, know. you, you knew that hopefully. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, the other thing is the concept of the constructor and the initializer. There's some questions on constructors and initializers. Uh, so let's see. Be familiar with the concepts related to initializers and constructors and what each is used for um, we know that constructors are not automatic in the language that initializers are and we run in it on the super object NS object, and we run init on the current object, and init's what we're actually running, not the constructors. But we can create a constructor to do the allocation and the initialization for us. Remember that lecture I gave you on the automatic constructors, where um, so all this stuff is in the lecture notes, actually, um, and or in concepts learned in the assignments, um, where you can create. So you never have to use alloc on anything. You put it in the constructor, and the const when the constructor and you call the constructor on the object when you create the object and you essentially it's a man-made not an automatic constructor um, not like in Java as an example the initializer is the automatic mechanism that's part of the object that would be equivalent to the Java constructor but one of the first lines in the uh, initializer for the object is to call the super to to run that initializer and then we run and any initialize any data very similar to a constructor. We initialize any data that might be associated with that instance of the object that we might want to populate when the object is initialized. But the, we can also create a constructor on top of that and use that to allocate the object memory and initialize it. So we can make main a little bit more user friendly in that concept. So There's an entire lecture on that actually. It's, um, I believe it's called uh, Initializers and Constructors. So. Uh, so see, be familiar with the concept related to initializer records and constructors and what each of them is used for and how. You don't, I don't believe you have to write these. It's just concept questions. It's just uh, multiple choice questions. Um, let's see. That's actually it in terms of the concepts, uh, which is actually everything that we pretty much covered. Um, be familiar with the concepts that were applied in the um, programming assignments. For example, <laughs> the is a relationship. <laughs> B. Um, 
between objects. And uh, the concepts of inheritance. Although you won't have to write it, it will be um, discussed in one of the multiple choice questions, actually. Uh, back to inheritance. Okay, inheritance. And uh, is that how you spell inheritance? Inheritance, I think so. <laughs> I don't know if it has two R's in there or one. I don't know. There's only one R in there, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why it, uh, this is a lousy, lousy, uh, what do you call it, uh, spell checker. <laughs> I said, be familiar with the concepts um, that were applied in the programming assignments. So for each, uh, for each, for each, the, is there, uh, for example, I think that's supposed to be for example, for example, <laughs> the is a relationship between objects and the concepts of inheritance. Also, the concept of making an array of objects, um, which we did in one of the assignments. Um, also, be familiar with basic data types like arrays, uh, dynamic and static. Dictionaries. There's a question that there's like one or two questions on this stuff, but not too much. Dictionaries, um, pointers. Um, I'm trying to remember structures. No, no question on union. Um, in fact, all of this stuff is in two questions. <laughs> so uh, I believe it. I think that's it. And uh, classes. Let's see. I believe I have covered it all, actually. Do we have any miscellaneous questions? See, I'm writing this up so I can put it on the website. Those people who aren't here today. I'm being very nice, along with the video that's going to record everything I'm saying about the final exam. But you guys who are here have opportunity to ask questions like, are you going to ask a question about this? Are you going to ask a question about that? I think I pretty much covered everything, though, that we covered in the course. The only thing we didn't cover, I did not put on the exam, is that, here, I'll make another list down here. Questions not on the exam. <laughs> not on the exam. There are no questions. This is not like Word. There are no questions on GUI elements, such as windows, or components, graphic components. There are no questions that will ask you to use a construct, uh, we call those um, language constructs, flow, flow control construct, flow control constructs such as if, you know, then, else, <laughs> else, um, case, switch, for, while, etc. No, nothing on that. Um, what else did I leave off of that exam? Ah, thank you. There is a question. There is one question on MVC. Uh, know the concept of MVC. Uh, model, <laughs> model, view, controller, MVC, and how it applies to creating applications for the uh, Mac platform. In using using Objective C, it, the question is actually more on the lines of the project format. So be familiar with the be familiar with the Xcode project contents. 
No, it's already on there. There's there's one question. There's one multiple choice question. But let me put this down here. However, there are no questions about. No, the exam's already written. I was just remembering I didn't say that. When I looked at, you know, I don't want to read the questions to you, so I just take a look at them and I kind of get a glimpse. But I do remember this is actually part of another question that has to, that overlaps with this number 16, actually, which is kind of interesting. It's an interesting question. I can't give it away to you, though. Okay, so there's no questions about Xcode features. <laughs> Features or project types or anything related to using this development tool. Although up here, maybe I shouldn't say, okay, be familiar with the project components that apply to the MVC concept. How's that? <laughs> what I'm getting at is, you know, the app delegate, it, not, not the app delegate, I'm sorry, the view controllers, the controllers that work with the GUI component, the data that's associated with it that might be in the class format. So um, if we extend it off to an iPhone application, then we're looking at app delegates. We can actually still have a delegate, though. And uh, we can still have a delegate in a non-iPhone project. There are no iOS questions <laughs> and nothing related to iPhone or iPad application development. <laughs> what else is not on the exam? What can you guys think of that I haven't covered yet? Let's see. Um, no external libraries. No, okay, so no questions on OpenGL or any external <coughs> libraries. Libraries or um, none Objective C function functionality. Let's see. What have I not put in the exam? I have a lot in the exam. I think that's what the problem is. <laughs> there's, not, there's not a lot that I did not put in the exam. I believe I have covered it all, though. Do you guys have any questions? This is your opportunity to ask questions. Is such and such on the exam? I don't know what such and such is. You do have to. You don't have to write complete programs. You don't have to do that. You'll have to write little code snippets, though, little code fragments, to demonstrate that you actually understand what a concept actually is, versus answering a multiple choice question. <laughs> and there's only ten of those questions where those people came in late, and fifteen questions are multiple choice. Okay. Well then today is your free day to ask questions and to get help with your homework assignments and stuff like that because it's the wrap up day so we're not going to have a full length course. We're only going for, actually I went longer than I expected to go. Um, so you know all of your assignments are due on Monday by midnight, Monday night. I actually have to check the deadline. I'm pretty sure it's set for Monday night. And I'll verify that during my little break here. And uh, all assignments must be done by you individually. No assignments in the course can match any other students' assignments in the course or from previous courses. All the assignments in this course are brand new for this course, so they don't have any from previous sections either, anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, the uh, exam is, uh, you know, write it on the paper, so you bring in a pen or a pencil kind of thing. And uh, it'll probably be, I don't know if it's going to be in this room because we need tables. We seem to be a little bit disorganized in this room, <laughs> so um, unless they can fix this room up by then. So come here first, and if it's not in here, ask at the front desk, and they will can tell you where the exam is going to take place. This will exam will be at 5 o'clock on Monday, and uh, I believe that um, I've set a two-hour time span for it, so you can go from 5 to 7. 
The iPhone uh, iPad, if you're taking that course, the iOS class exam starts at 7 o'clock. But you can take it early if you want. You can take both exams together if you want, if you're in both classes um, at 5 or both at 7. Don't come after 8 because if everyone comes in early and everyone's gone, there's nobody here, we're going to go home. <laughs> Assuming you guys want to get it in and out and get it over with. So if you come at 9 o'clock at night and there's nobody here, that means you missed it. So come by 7 o'clock to start the exam. If you're not here by 7, you're not taking any exams because we're probably going to be gone. We'll wait until everybody finishes, but we're probably not going to be here at 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> so, I, I believe I had one student a couple weeks ago show up around 9 o'clock at night. And I'm like, well, we're gone. And he's like, I, no, it was during the other. It was during the final exams for the last session. Somebody showed up at 9 o'clock at night to take the exams. I'm like, we had left like at 8.45. The exam will probably take you about an hour, so you don't want to get here, you know, any time past seven. I'd, I'd shoot if, if, if I would shoot the latest of arriving here around seven, the latest, just to give yourself enough time to take it. So we're not gonna throw you out though. You can stay until midnight if you want, as long as you showed up at seven <laughs> or shortly thereafter. Questions, comments, or concerns. Then we are done, and I'm going to put this up on the website, and I'll label it Final Exam Review along with the video. So if you came in a little bit late, you can listen to it and see what you missed. Um, otherwise, we have easy day today. That's all we're going to do today. Um, so we have the Final Exam Review, and if you have anything you brought with you, which I hopefully mentioned in the last class meeting, you know, if you had half the stuff that you needed help with, I am your tutor for the next hour or so. so. Okay. Then I will see you on Monday.